Hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Hunter Classic. This is the very first episode for this new year and for this new season. Now, I don't know how much we're going to be able to get to do with uh, Delacaba, but this may be more of a single player series for a while because he has been very busy doing some other things especially with vintage story and the new immersion mod that is something that is going to be more episodes of that coming out he's going to be doing uh plenty of tutorials with his wife Erkath. so i thought it was well past time i should have come here to do a hunt of some kind and i am here at white rhyme and I decided to take part in a competition. Now this is a competition to get the largest moose. Because as you know I love to hunt the moose. The largest moose with a 10 point crossbow. Now as you can see I'm over here in the sun. Let me see if I can't get back here a little bit under the sun a little more. So you can see me. There we go. I can see my pretty face. Anyway, we're going to go down to my hunting tower and see what we can find as far as moose. Now, let me go ahead and show you what I've got with me today. I've got my 340 Weatherby. That is because there are bison. And with bison here... That always is never good news for me. <laughs> the bison do not like me. Well, they like running over me. That's about all. Uh, that's also a reason why I have this along for close encounters. This is my 357 Basante pistol. This will take a bison down. So if we get too close, we get, you know we yank this sucker out and take him down. But of course, I do have my crossbow. And I love this crossbow. I've got the uh, reverse draw crossbow as well, but this one is my favorite. I might even get a white one because it would be better in this environment. But we're going to go ahead and get started. It looks like there's some activity down there. I see quite a few animals down there. I don't know if you can see them, but right down there we have moose. All right off the bat, there's moose. So, I think we need to get ourselves going here. I am going to go ahead. We're going to have to go ahead and put our face mask on so we don't freeze our nose off. So let's go to our face here. I don't know if I need my glasses or not. I think I'm just going to stick with what I have. Well, that's not where it goes. It goes right there. Right there okay probably could have just double clicked it but anyway let's go ahead and hit our descent no sense letting them know we're on the way and I am going to go ahead and assume a crouch pose because they are already as I said down there we do not want to alert them We've got to get close, because with the 10 point, you've got to get pretty close. Now, well, there was a moose down there. It didn't look too bad as well. But I might try to call him up here, because honestly, there's a lot of bison down there too. <laughs> like I said, the bison and I, they we have checkered history. Very checkered history. Alright, that's why I'm keeping my eyes forward because I want to be certain that I don't get snuck up on. Let's go ahead and give a hoot, see what happens. No, there it is. Okay, I don't know if that's the moose down there or if that's the bison, but let's take a look here. That's the bison. There's a moose cow right there. There was a bull moose, though. Let's 
don't know where he is. He was... Wait a minute, there he is. Ooh, it looks like he might be even stuck. Now wouldn't that be awesome? No, nope, he did, he's not stuck. He got up. Okay, I hear the bison. Let's try the hooter again. I don't know if I'm in range or not, but we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of moose juice out here. I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and spray near this tree. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to those bison. I just, me and bison, we are not friends. We are not friends at all. Yeah, I might actually be all right, guys. I might be able to get up to the tower without any, any of these guys being on to me. Yeah, they're not very close. I'm just going to go ahead and walk over there, guys. I am going to keep going. I'm going to get over to the tower. I will bring you back unless something unexpected happens. And it sometimes does. Alright, guys. We are approaching the tower. Looks like we're good so far. I love the White Rye map. That is one map I really wish was on Call of the Wild. I know they have the Alaskan map, but I love this map. The moose here are huge. And I love to hunt the moose. You know, even with the bison being here. <laughs> but... I always love to come here and get the moose, usually at the start of a season. Come out here, I got this tower, I've had this tower here for quite some time. You just basically wait for them to come to you. And there is a big fella. Tell you what, let's see if we can't call our little friend over there. Wait a minute, he's closer than I thought he was. What we'll do, we'll go ahead and spray some moose juice. Nope, give a hoot. And then we'll head up in the tower. We'll let him get nice and close. And then we'll shoot him in the face. <laughs> He's just right over there, that one is. Now what is that over there? Let me see. I think it might be another bison. That's hard to tell. Yeah. Small for a bison. Well, that's not spotting him. Okay, that's a male. That one's not small. Yeah, that's a big old male. Hmm. It's a whole bunch of them over there. There's an, something else coming in way over there. Yep, another moose. Let's see if this one comes in close enough. That one is far enough out that probably he won't be alerted if I, in any way, shape, or form. 
There's that moose cow. There we go. Spot it. I was going to say, it's not spotting very quick. Another moose cow. He's just kind of standing there chilling. He's not the biggest moose I've ever seen. I mean, the gist of it is he's got nice tines. Don't get me wrong. But he doesn't seem to be all that interested in coming over here and checking out what I've got to offer him here. Okay, let's try... Let's try the spray again. Wind might not be with me. Okay, we've sparked his interest. He's not bad, though. He is not bad at all, guys. Yeah, we just need to be patient, because I have a feeling he is going to come pretty dang gone close. He's right now down in that, that hot springs. I can't see him very well. I see some movement... Oops. Let me get myself situated here. There's two of them. There's a female with him. Looks like they're coming for the same reason. Yeah, if I stay real still, I can let him get very close. And that is what I'm going to try. He looks more than 190 to me. Whoa! He just froze. Boom. <laughs> I don't even think he knew what hit him. Hold on, guys. There's another moose coming over that way. Alright, let's give another hoot here. Might as well get two of them if we can. I haven't had it work this well in a long, long time. Yeah, I'm actually kind of glad the female ran off because she seems like the female ones just tend to scare off everything else. That looks like a hulking figure there. It's a male. 640 to 890. I'm never sure just how good a score that is. Let's see. Yeah, see, he's bigger. Possibly. We get a range. being really cautious really cautious I don't know if he sees his friend lying dead there or what the deal is but I think there's another moose over there guys let's see yeah it's a, that's that moose cow might even be the one that ran off yeah it doesn't take them too long to forget there's a moose cow over there. And... Don't see anything else incoming right at the moment. 
but he is his antlers are smaller Whoop. but my friends we are going to take him down all right he got hit and he's down I never miss never miss alright guys that's why I get so aggravated with Call of the Wild because when this thing's you know you're sitting there and you got it aimed I can't raise my weapon. There's a Sitka deer. And he's close. Really close. Is that him over there? Or is that that moose cow? Well, that's that moose cow. There's another moose. His antlers all there look great either. Well, let's see here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want to go harvest him. Alright, let me see how close that one is over there. Um, okay, she is going the other way. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Just don't want to spook anything off. Just to make sure I'll walk in a crouch. Now he really does look nice. He's got some interesting looking horns there, really. Yep. Body, right lung, shoulder blade, liver, stomach. Went straight through him. 149, 983. Like I said, not the best I've ever seen, but not bad. How it rates for the competition? Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably not so good. We're going to see if we can't raise his head up. Not like that. That's not bad. Actually, that's not bad at all, really. Let's go ahead and get that shot. Except, no, I just want to sell him. I don't know where that Sitka deer is, but do need to be careful here. There's a lot of things that can do me some damage. Fairly close by. There he is. No, that's it. He must be just under the water or something. Not under the water, but near the water. Okay, let's try to get over here and get this guy without getting surprised. Is that something over there? No. <coughs> I saw a dark spot and I wasn't sure what the heck it was. Man. 
Lungs hurt. I'm surprised he made it as far as he did. You don't want to get into the water either guys because if you do you will get hypothermia almost instantaneously and that's never good all right and I'm not just saying that to be silly you will actually get it in the game <laughs> actually it's not bad There's enough contrast with the with the picture. Ah, oh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> but against that dark background, I stand out really well, and so does the moose. And we'll sell that one. Get some more GMS. Yeah, if a bison comes close, I'm not going to mess around. I'm not using my 10 point. I'm taking him down. Okay, that might be the Sitka deer over there. Let me see here. No, just a lot of moose cows. A lot of moose cows. I think there's a bunch of bison over there. There's that other moose. He's just chilling. He's not very big at all. Look, 90 to 165. Yeah. Yeah, my name didn't pop up, so I don't think I even came close, even with that 149 or whatever it was that I had. That's a good shot, though. Trying to get a good look around here. See if there's anything to be seen. It doesn't look like anything's too close to become too worrisome. Well, he's a little on the close side. He's that big male, and I'm kind of contemplating taking him down because, honestly, I need a good trophy. Damn Sitka deer. I am gonna... Oh, shoot. Ooh. As you can see, that's what always happens. <laughs> but he's dead. And I didn't get run over, believe it or not. I kind of panicked. <laughs> oh, shoot. God, they always get me that way. I thought he was still plenty distant enough to not be an issue. He's a big fella, though. Look how curled his horns are. He's a good fella. Let's see here. Skull right lung. 110.143. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and do the trophy shot. I might try to figure out. Mission genetic issues completed. Not sure what that means. No, I think he's a pretty good one for a trophy, honestly. I don't think I have one this big. Mm. 
They are aggressive, I tell you. Accept that. I'm gonna go ahead and taxidermy him just in case. The only nice thing is, I don't think I'll have any of them sneaking up on me after firing two shots off like that. That Weatherby's nothing to mess with, it will take down a huge animal. Probably scared off that Sitka deer though. Which is too bad. I need a Sitka deer for my trophy lodge. I uh, do not have one. Get a better look around. And if nothing happens, might call this an episode for now. Doesn't mean this is over, just means that this is our first attempt. I might come back tomorrow and try to get another one. I've got three days, so in these competitions you usually have 72 hours to place. You get like 10 attempts, which pretty much now I've used up two of them. And then, you know, you see where you stand. I am not seeing any animals anywhere. Not even a moose cow. I guess when I spook them, I spook them right. <laughs> There is nothing. No bison, no moose. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's like... <laughs> gone. Yeah, this is probably going to end up having to be it, guys. Let me go ahead and jump back to our main base down here not the camper but I'm gonna see if I can't go ahead and set up some stuff anyway here we are let's see I think this might be a trophy lodge I don't know for 100% certain yeah it is and let's see all right we are here in the lodge I think I've brought you here plenty of times before but let me see I mean I do have a bison up there okay no he's not better than that he's not better than that oh well anyway if you haven't seen it in a while it's not bad. I've got some pretty good representations of many of the species. I think that's a real good representation of the brown bear. And a 22 in Hamadol, his shot. He was a monster. Got the Bartang. He tried to run me over as well. I think that one, that bison actually did. He's 113. The one I shot was 110. We got a white tail tier, 172. Not my best, but my best I shot before they had the trophy lodge. That's a good Roosevelt elk at 327. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, this is my, my big old werewolf that I shot. He was a big fella. There is the moose I've got, and 179 is my best so far. I've been trying to beat it. 
I did beat it, but I think he would have gotten better if his antlers were just a little bit better shape. They look old and like they're broken pieces off and stuff. I think that's why he didn't do so well. I think that coyote was a pretty good one. 47? Yeah. But it doesn't look like I've got anything worthy of putting in here, guys. I'm sorry. Well, I tell you what. I think it is time for me to head on out of here. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of the Hunter Classic. And who knows, maybe Delacaba can join us this next time. Anyway, until that time goes, I will see you later. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.